Marriage is about affection, enjoying each other's company, and above all, godliness. Do you know how to spice up your marriage to make it the real deal and not an ordeal? Stay tuned for today's lesson on the Marriage Classroom to learn about the measure you can put in place for you to enjoy your marriage. This is another class that we are learning again about marriage. Last time we were able to come up with some what you call an acronym or trying to use the letters in the word marriage to help us understand exactly marriage, uh, what marriage is and that's also another way of helping us to really realize what we are in and uh, use it to help us. Now anyone can remind us maybe for those who are not in our class last time to know what we learned. So what did we say the letters in marriage, the word marriage can mean? Yes, Moses. Marital agreement requiring respect, integrity, affection, godliness, enjoyment. And enjoyment. Yes, I remember we cancelled endurance. It is enjoyment, okay? Yes. Uh, that was good. That was good agreement. Uh, again, maybe there was something else I told you to also see whether, because he said that is not like it's cast in stone. That is not like it is the one which is real you know, put down that that should be uh, representing marriage. Anyone who came up with something else? Yes, George? Marital agreement requiring respect, intimacy, availability, godliness, and enjoyment. Wow, that's very good. Uh, you have gotten that he has added two other things. Which one and which one? Intimacy, intimacy and? Availability. Yes, so integrity replaced with intimacy, that is very key. I believe that's why we are together. And then there is the availability. We need to be there and available for one another. I got another one. For myself, I, uh, the teacher also did the homework. And I said this, uh, marriage can mean making two adults to romance, respect, inspire, adjust, grow, and grow each other. How does it look like? Uh, have you gotten it? I've said M for making two adults. Now, making two. Then A to be adults. Remember, they are adults, isn't it? Then R, one R is romance. Wow. Uh -huh. Because there should be love. There should be what we say, the enjoyment, isn't it? Yeah. Romance. Then R, respect. I, they inspire, uh -huh. then they adjust. Remember, there is a lot of adjustment. Remember, we are talking about two adults, having come from different background. background. Those that, uh, if indeed it was even intercultural or uh, cross-cultural marriage, what happens? One eats waru, and the other one eats omena. Yes. Okay? Yes. And one puts soup in a... Dufu in a tank, using a, and another one, whatever. And uh, <laughs> there must be a gadufu, okay? Yes. And waru everywhere, okay? And carrots, and miji, and, uh, and cabbage. And cabbage, cabbage, and other rest, okay? And another one, the ugari must be really hard, okay? Yes. So what do you do? You must do what? Adjust. And then after that desire, after you have just, you have to help one another, that is grow. I use the G to me, to grow each other. And that is not the only one. I believe which one of us can come out, each family can come up with their own, uh, you know, way of defining what marriage and what it means to you. Okay. Today we learn now, because we are going on to really how you know to see how we can make our marriage that good deal okay yes. the good deal now we are going to do something about or we learn something about the alphabet of marriage and that does not mean we are making it so simple like abcd you know when you have somebody saying oh uh, that was abcd that means it was very simple, simple. simple. it's not that we, if we are making it that simple it's just to help us understand some of the ways we can do or what we can do to help us make our marriage a good deal, what we are calling 
you know, enjoyment, not endurance. So we are going to look at what we call active verbs. And they must be positive. <laughs> positive. And they must be active verbs. Uh, we go to school again. Because when we talk about they must be positive means uh, if A, A can mean something, anger your spouse. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Or do what? Affirm. Or affirm. That is it. So we are going to look for the positive verbs. Because the A can mean, B can mean anything. But we are going to look for they must be positive. positive. Second, they must be active. active. That means they are doing. Okay? Yes. It, it is doing verbs. So it is like if it's if I use just the word like L and say love, means there is something you're going to do. Why? We are going to look at something we are able to do or we are going to commit ourselves to do according to what the alphabet tells us. When we be looking at them, we will be looking at uh, the, the alphabet, then give the words, and then after that, we look at ways we can do that action verb. Okay? So we start with the first one. And the first letter of the alphabet is what? A. A. And what would A mean? A, a positive action verb. And Moses, Moses had said affirm. affirm. What is to affirm? Uh -huh. uh, to affirm is to positively acknowledge someone's abilities. Mm -hmm in a way that makes them feel better mm -hmm. about themselves. Yes, affirm. Quite a number of them, we can use the word affirm. Uh -huh. Another word? Yes? Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Uh -huh. We can, we may not write all of them, you write all of them, because uh, we can... Appreciate. <laughs> appreciate. Uh -huh. All those are very important. Affirm, acknowledge, appreciate. So, to... The one I'm going to look at today, we may not look at all of them because there will be so many, but you can pick out one. I picked out appreciate or accept. Accept your spouse or your mate. So we'll be looking at how do you accept. Now we are in this good deal and you have this dear lady and the dear man you chose. And so the honeymoon is over. We are where rubber meets the road. Then you realize there are some things you need to accept about this person who cannot, may not change. Now I had uh, uh, Moses talking about something he had decided to do in a way to accept. Because accept means uh, to set a value or a price on. Uh, we can also talk about to be sensible of to distinguish, to regard, and admire highly. That is to appreciate. It can also mean when we are also able to recognize the significance or the importance of something. Okay. So by the time, now we, that one is about a position. Accepting is where we we agree with what we have, okay? Yes. You, you, and then it's like you accommodate. It's like, uh, let's say I've accepted you, as we say, I've accepted you. So that means I'm going to make room for you yes. where you're going to come and stay yes. and accept all of you, okay? Yes. Yes. Now, let's look at ways how can you appreciate your spouse. How do you recognize the significance or the quality of your husband or your wife? How do you regard or admire him or her highly? Because that's what it means to appreciate. We're going to look at those ways. And I think each one of us can give us a way. Mm -hmm. Michael? I think what you do is to verbalize uh, your feelings towards that person mm -hmm. or whatever uh, they have done. Appreciating means, you know, you appreciate that they have 
For example, somebody has prepared a nice meal. Mm -hmm. See, that was a nice meal. That is appreci uh, appreciating. Correct. Yeah. Say it. That is important. Hey right there, you think I look good? Say it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, let me get yes. Uh, that is. You can bought a gift for somebody. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then you go to her and you appreciate through that gift. Correct. You can also buy a gift and appreciate and say, this is because of what you did. Mm -hmm. That's also another way of appreciation. Uh -huh. uh, that is... Uh, yes. You uh -huh. should always say thank you. Yes, thank you. It's a very good word. Sometimes, uh, you know, <laughs> you get somebody say, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> it's not just saying it is would you say thank, thank you, you. Uh -huh. uh, what are you for <laughs> <laughs> yes I, uh, I know somebody who I bring up something uh, like he's forgotten a phone I pick it and I bring it it's like what are you for? <laughs> in a joking manner, what are you? And it's like uh, uses the debt or language, you know. If I, if you don't take care of me, who will? <laughs> That's not saying thank you. That's not. It's taking this for granted that I will be able to to pick after him. No, okay. Grace, as the one that has said. Whenever your spouse or your wife does something to you, mm. it is good to, to let her know yes. that you, are, you know you can appreciate, mm -hmm. but you don't say. Okay. You keep it in your heart. Mm. You appreciate, but you keep it in your heart. Mm. It is good to say. Good. At and, as in mm -hmm. nyumbani, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but you say it, it's, it's my right mm -hmm. to be given. Mm -hmm. It's my right to be, be done here. this. Mm -hmm. That one does not bring a good picture. Yes, there should be a precision, mm -hmm. verbalizing yes. it and all that. And the generation that writes MSMS is mm -hmm. write it. Mm -hmm. eh? okay. If you can't talk about it, write right. it. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. Judge, you want to add something? Yes, I think also in a precision, mm -hmm. uh, when it goes now beyond a family setup outside, mm -hmm. I think it will, it will still have some more weight. Mm -hmm. When I make my friends know that Oh, my wife is very good in this. She is the one who cooks, who has cooked this kind of food. Mm -hmm. I think it makes her feel better, yes. appreciated. Yes, you don't tell only her or him, mm -hmm. but tell others about her. her. Mm -hmm. Tell others about mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, for lack of a better word, I will mm -hmm. explain. Mm -hmm. uh, example, you like hug her, kiss mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, something that will make her just... Feel so good or know, him. If that's feel how good. you appreciate, yeah. then yes. Okay. Yes, uh, we can have yes, uh, from just. Uh, word on. Yes, George. Mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate our wives mm -hmm. through introduction. Mm -hmm. You know, most of us men normally introduce our wives as mama or toto. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But <laughs> if you introduce her like, this is my lovely wife. Mm -hmm. You see, you appreciate her yes. that way. I True. Think I, I think one of the good ways to show a precision is how you introduce mm. your spouse to others. Yes. Mm. Nina, you know, okay, you know, and uh, oh, Mama Wanyuba, Mama Kwagu, Kuna Serikali, eh, Serikali, eh, and the, even the way the lady also introduces the, you know, the issue is this. Are you able to acknowledge this yeah. is my wife? Yes. This is my husband. You know, with all the other names that we also use, whether it's sweet, uh, have here some sweets, <laughs> but dear, uh, dear <laughs> darling, how do you introduce your spouse to other people? That is very important. Yes. People introduce that you in the BI. It Nasim Muzea at Muzea Wanyuba. A precision is who, <laughs> who is that person to you now? Yes. It is not about the children and the, the village and all that. Mm. To me, to you, who are you? Mm. My wife, mm. my 
as you want. That's true. And that's very important and yeah. very key. Now, something else that uh, I remembered, I don't know how many of you have read a book called The Five Languages of Love. Yeah. How many? Now, that will be part of the homework also. And also our viewers. A very good book, which even right now you can get it even from uh, PDF. Uh, those who are even in these uh, groups of uh, e-library. I've realized and I can see maybe even how it can be accessed because that's something that's already uh, can be accessed. It's uh, five languages of love. Mm -hmm. How do people uh, you know, demonstrate love or a position? Mm -hmm. Now, it's very important. Once you know the, how your wife or your husband you know, wants to be appreciated, then you do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there are five. One of them is word of affirmation, like what we've said. Word of affirmation, you did it well. What the proverbs that one lady is told, other women have done it well, yes. but you have done it excellently. Those are words of affirmation. affirmation. And there is also the acts of service. There are people who feel appreciated when I am here, I'm doing my calls or my roles, and then you come here, help me around. Mm -hmm. And I heard Mr. Moses say that he goes home and fights, he can help something. The wife, mm. I heard you say something. You said well, you well, can do? One of the things I've learned mm. in time is that my wife is a human being. Mm. <coughs> she gets tired, mm -hmm. she has her moods just like I do. Mm. So if I find that there's a place she needs help, mm -hmm. cooking, cleaning dishes, cleaning the house, mm. I do it that she may rest. Mm -hmm. And when she does it, I still appreciate her. You've done it very well. Okay. Yeah. And I know she appreciates when you come in in acts of service. Yeah. I don't know. I think women we really know that one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I I wanted to add on to that as a as a way of showing appreciation mm -hmm. that um, one way in which I personally have realized is works for us mm -hmm. as a couple mm -hmm. is for me to to assist mm -hmm. in uh, the efforts that I see my wife do. Whenever she's struggling with something and I assist, mm -hmm. she normally feels so much appreciated. Mm -hmm. One particular way is um, we have we have a, a young boy mm -hmm. who is at that stage where he can decide to cry the whole night. Mm -hmm. So if I assist in maybe carrying the child even for five minutes, mm -hmm. in as much as she will carry the, the rest of the night, but mm -hmm. I carried for just five minutes, mm -hmm. she really feels appreciated with that. With that. Mm -hmm. So I think these acts of service are a great way of of showing appreciation. Yes, and you realize appreciation means there's a lot, and you realize that is sometimes sometimes people say that's what is missing. Mm. You don't feel me when you can't, you know, I can't see you involved in what I'm doing. Mm. Okay. Yes, the next three, I mean the third one is what we call spending quality time. There are people who love just of all other things, be with me. Mm -hmm. Give me time. Maybe sometimes even to narrate what I've gone through the day. That is also a way of, there are people who feel appreciated when they are listened to, when somebody just has time for them. Okay? Yeah. The fourth one is gifts. And you have said that. <laughs> that those you don't appreciate and there's, you don't say thank you and there is no card. Yeah. And you don't say thank you and there is no, like, uh, chocolate. Mm. Chocolate, yeah. Chocolate, love. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember. It's wrong since I got <laughs> uh, Yes, chocolate. Uh, yeah, and a gift, uh, a, f a flower, maybe even a dress, a shirt. Yeah. All that is another way of saying thank you. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, what you've done. But I wanted to, to ask, I want to have an input there. Mm. That you must be able to buy the gift that that person appreciates. Yes. You can end up buying flowers, and then somebody is wondering, I wish you came with spinach. <laughs> yeah, well, this, these flowers I'm not going to eat, but spinach I would eat. So okay. I think it is good to ensure that the gift it is something that that particular person is going to appreciate. Okay. Yeah. And the last one, that is very good, because yeah. if you bring a gift and they don't know what's the purpose for, mm. I know, like in Valentine, the others would wish, take me out. Don't bring those flowers. I don't know what they mean. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So once you know what they appreciate, then you do that. And the last one is physical touch. I know Africans, we are really not so good 
with showing affection or appreciation through a uh, physical touch. But that's something we can learn. I don't know. You realize when people are close together, they seem to really like being really near together, isn't it? One of the ways to appreciate is also touch. It can even be, even somebody is st studying and just hold his hand and say, thank you, you did well. That made me. Or even a pat on the shoulder, okay? Mm. A hug, a kiss. Mm. <laughs> After taking mint. <laughs> okay. So, eh? <laughs> so I, that is also another way. The five things, don't forget. And that's a good book you can look for and read and you realize. It does a lot how we can express our precision by the five languages of love. So I hope today you've learned one of the alphabet. And that is? A. Mm -hmm. To do what? Appreciate. Appreciate. Yes. You can affirm. Mm -hmm. You can also do? Acknowledge. 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 You can accept. Yes. So the next one when we meet, look at B and give me all those words. And then we will look at it and give ourselves homework. Remember, I've given you homework? Read that book. I will ask you questions from that book. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is as strong as death, jealousy as cruel as the grave. Its flames are flames of fire, a most vehement flame. Many waters cannot quench love, nor can floods drown it. If a man would give for love all the wealth of his house, it would be utterly despised. In today's discussion during the break... Okay, now we had an interesting lesson. Um when the teacher told us about the five languages of love. But when I was in class, I was just thinking, you know, it sounded easy in class, but in reality, some of these things can pose a challenge. Like um, when you are being told, always affirm your spouse. I remember a friend of mine was sharing with me, whenever he tries to affirm the spouse, he came on, I, um, I love you. The next thing I know, lose one, nini unataka. These things are not so easy. It's, it's like there's some malice. There's some malice or some, some reason behind affirmation. So why, what are some of these challenges that we think couples are having and um, how could they be, be handled? Maybe we can just start by brainstorming on, uh, on these challenges. I know for me, the other, the other challenge that is there... I know, especially for men, they say, when I told her I love you and I married you, you just know, unless I change, it, it remains. <laughs> you to see, for me, I want to be told I love you in the morning, if we meet over lunch, as in, if, it, if it's possible, infinity, yeah? So don't uh, imagine that I know you love, I want to continue hearing, hearing it. So I think for me, those assumptions that attempts men also have, and also understanding, not understanding what ladies or your wife or your spouse also want. I can share my experience. Mm. Um, <clears throat> speaking from where we stopped. So when I got married, I thought that love is to be there for my wife, to provide, you know. So I'm the kind of person who is at home. Before dark, I provide. So I felt, I love you. <laughs> I'm here. Everything you need is here. Yes, yes. But I learned that that is not the language of love my wife understood. She wanted more. She wanted the words. She wanted the affirmation. The time. In fact, the time was the most difficult one. Mm. So she says, let's talk. So you sit and, so let's talk. About what? Anything. Every, as, long as, we are, as long as we are talking. And I'm wondering, so we just sit and talk and talk about anything? And um, I, I can't understand. But I've had to learn that it's not about what you talk about. It's about being there not watching TV, not on your phone, mm -hmm. just talking. I'm not talking about projects. That's the other challenge. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about each other, talking about our love life. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. listen, it, it, is, it is very important that you figure out your, your spouse's language of love. I also learned it the hard way. I, was, I, I realized it even how you look at your spouse <laughs> could communicate something. <laughs> There was a time nili nyamaziwa karibu one hour. Kuuliza shida ni nini eti kumbe nilimwangalia na jicho moja. <laughs> and I think I think we were just in bed nilikuwa nimelala na na pilo imefunika macho ingine. <laughs> so why are you looking at me with one eye? <laughs> are you not happy to look at me? <laughs> so it is as you say try to learn what makes your spouse 
stick mm. and that way you'll be able to express love more to your to your spouse it's it's very it's very important <laughs> so sometimes <laughs> unaenda kuwekelea mkono hivi mkono inatolewa then you wonder kwani kuna shida gani sasa hiyo maisha okay according to the book tutajaribu kuisoma mm. now another thing ni ya time unajua times are hard so sometimes you are relaxing it's around 9 it's a holiday sasa mke anakuambia eh hey, wewe utashinda kwa nyumba <laughs> na sasa it was your high time you thought utakaa na familia <laughs> eh lakini with time tu tutaendelea tukiona vile tunaweza tafuta wakati mwingine because there's no way naweza tokea ta kazini especially for us tokea around 5 ukifika kwa nyumba like mean kifika 5 Hey, kwani kuna shida gani? So, <laughs> <laughs> so kama uliko umejiset na sengine okay kulingana na kazi yangu naweza mchana na nipate pesa lakini kifika mapema the first question hey, kwani gari ni mbaya <laughs> so kuna ile time lazima ufike <laughs> eh, lakini saa kulingana na hiyo kitabu tutasoma na tujajaribu kukuza hii mapenzi yetu vile mm-hmm. yeah. inastahili and, and i think mm-hmm in the five love languages yeah. there's someone two of them will be very important and the other three are not as important mm. yeah there are some three of them will be important so the yeah. someone will be big on physical touch mm-hmm. they'll be big on gifts they'll be big on uh, words of affirmation but on the other two they they don't regard them that much depending maybe on how you're cultured yeah, yeah like uh, for my wife i know gifts are key the the big for her. so najaribu hapa na pale sasa zingine unajua hauko very creative so unapata unaleta hii unaleta ingine <laughs> unaona hii ijabebwa na uzito ile ile ingine ilibebwa but you try cause you might try maybe uh, something else like uh, maybe spending time together to her maybe she she has other things she needs to do it's not big for her mm. yeah So tuzijaribu ati zote tano zikuwe kwa <laughs> zikuwe tick zote but just the two that are big for them or the three then focus on those ones hizi zingine usizitie manani sana uh, but, but then that will mean that will mean that even for married couples they will also they should also try to understand each yeah. other mm-hmm. yes. because um for, for example if i was not cultured in a particular way I may be struggling with that particular language of love yeah. and my wife should appreciate when I'm sees, when she sees that struggle. Yeah. For example, I grew up in a family where I don't think I ever saw my dad hug my mom. I don't think I ever saw that. But but I know they love each other. They love each other. But hug physical touch. Oh, oh no, wale wangekuwa wanaenda town labda mama anatembea a few steps behind baba anatembea but i knew that so it's not something i i i am used to seeing mm. so when my wife comes and she likes the pda public displays of affection i may not be very big in that but that does not mean i don't love so i would expect my wife to also appreciate mm-hmm. and uh, help me through that struggle not to kutane somewhere somewhere in uh, in between but as you as you said it's true you may not mm. be good in all the five yeah. even even with this issue of gifts i usually say don't just go to bata and just buy <laughs> ngoma you know no no my style you know buy for me things exclusives things which, which even when i'm wearing i feel like yeah, i'm being appreciated <laughs> but don't buy for me things and yambo nikiangalia i'm like really seriously i'll not wear them you know so i think i think the key thing you should know your wife you should know your spouse that's what i can say so that you know especially on the issue of gifts me i love gifts so you buy for me things which i don't like i'm sorry i'll say i'm sorry but i'll not put on yeah <laughs> I, i think all these uh, five languages of love should be subjected to growth because we are brought up in 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 uh, backgrounds like my brother has said that where oh, you never mm-hmm. saw and uh, and actually some setups like myself i i just found myself being brought up by my father mm-hmm. uh, because my mother died long ago mm-hmm. when i was one year old so i have i, I didn't have any experience Uh, uh having seen a wife and a husband and how they live and how they relate mm-hmm. and therefore my wife should help me to to yeah. to, to bring these things out mm-hmm. because i have no experience mm-hmm. so they should be subjected to growth mm-hmm. if it's hugging you start in a small way 
but appreciation should come in even if you do it in in uh, in anjia ambayo haieleweki vizuri usiambiwe ah bana that is not because okay if if it has standards yeah. then it must begin somewhere yeah. so i believe that these five languages they should start somewhere hata kama mtu haifanyi with that pa, 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 si, si perfect sana mm-hmm. akifanya hiyo kidogo hata akikushika mkono siku so, moja yeah. you appreciate mm-hmm. then you will co- you go on gaining courage and growing these things and finally you will be a perfect guy mm-hmm. and, and i think for me what then is coming out general and it's very clear mm-hmm. that's an issue of each and every couple learning each other that whatever he applies to me mm-hmm. is not the same thing that will apply to Caro yes. or any other wife yes. or husband yes. and from this five of course it's almost like a pointer mm-hmm. but there's always a priority mm-hmm. like for me i will not mind spending the whole time with my husband from morning to evening mm-hmm. even locked in the same house mm-hmm. the whole day i'm perfectly okay with it we look for each other almost on a daily basis so that no for example when he comes and maybe perhaps even give me gifts yeah? for me that's just an addition mm-hmm. i have those priority mm-hmm. that i think each and every husband mm-hmm. each and every wife mm-hmm. must understand mm-hmm. and i think that's where the problem then is mm-hmm. because we get into marriage mm-hmm. you don't want to make that initiative of mm-hmm. knowing who is my wife because yes. i think it's an assignment mm-hmm. yes. and mm-hmm. everyone must make it intentional mm-hmm. you fail to make it intentional now you'll just be doing things your way because yes. you you think you like black shoes and you post it on your wife your wife mm-hmm. will not like it yes. because perhaps so you think you like uh, this uh, flowered shirt now this you see uhuru and the praise no now this mm. they are wearing uh, they are yes. nice yeah. but not all men will want that yes. yeah yes. so that if your men will want the same good of thing please confirm that he's okay with yes. it and then now that's when you buy and of course not the bottom line is also communication mm. so then now once you communicate you'll be able to know what does your wife want there's some who does not want even you hold my hand when i'm in public yeah. Yeah. but there's someone who is okay yeah, yeah. so like yeah. so when <laughs> your spouse does that and you did not like it get back to, at home and say by the way mm. there's one two three you did me i'm not okay with it mm. anytime you want to hug me wait until i'm in the bed i'm comfortable with that mm. so you will learn mm. and ensure next time when in public don't touch that hand because she'll not be comfortable <laughs> you do that then definitely will be in trouble yeah. that's the best way to ensure that we apply this first this uh, five love um, um, language of uh, love don't apply just blanket uh, yeah. yeah. blanketly mm. Okay, wow, that's a that's a wonderful discussion i think but i think as we go home i'll really be going as i'm thinking Why wouldn't my wife want me not to touch her in public? <laughs> Food for thoughts. <laughs> Stay tuned for the fourth part of the alphabet of marriage on next week's episode. To get the notes of today's lesson, visit www.mbcimedia.com/tmc. Catch the repeat of the marriage classroom every Tuesday at 10 p.m.